TSUtigers.com here with women's basketball head coach Larry Emmon after a 69-66 win over Moorhead State. Coach, just give us an opening statement. Um, I thought this was one of our better defensive nights. Uh, I think percentage-wise it proves that. You know, we, we held them to 33% uh, shooting from two-point range. The problem was we didn't guard the three. They, they shot 40% from there. But, but uh, you know, we forced 19 turnovers. The only unfortunate thing about that is they won the turnover battle with forcing us into 25. So that's got to get better. Um, but, you know, our defense really, to me, was, was a big factor in our, our, our rebounding. Our rebounding was, was on point tonight. We had several kids with eight and nine rebounds. And um, that's what we got to have. We've have, we got to have collective rebounding. And if we can just eliminate the, the turnovers that we had uh, and, and continue with the rebounding, uh, we'll be okay. But – we played really tough, just like we did the other night down the stretch, and that's what you got to do. It's it's the closing moments of the game that make the difference whether you win or lose. It, you know, you can say it's this, that, and the other, but but the bottom line is if you don't close it out, it, it's not going to happen. And, and twice we've done that now, and I'm very proud of our kids. And it wasn't easy. The team we played, Morehead State, is a, a great team, and and uh, you know they play play uh, they got great skills. So we were very fortunate to come away with a win tonight. Coach, just talk about the play of Jada Johnson. It seems like lately she's been struggling early to get it going offensively, but it's like something clicks for her in the fourth quarter, and she's able to pretty much score at will. What is I, the difference I'm, between the first and second half? I'm glad it clicked and it didn't kabonk, okay? Because <laughs> sometimes a Jada is, is a great player. Uh, it, it, sometimes she gets frustrated and does not play up to her capability. So, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things where I'm, I'm – Proud the last two times she's really stepped up her game and, and hit big buckets and playing with more confidence, like you said. I think part of that is, you know, if you hit a couple and Jada kind of plays off of that, if Jada hits a couple, she gets it cranked up and gets going, you know. And, Coach, also talk about the play, Tia Wooden coming off the bench again. She only played 16 minutes tonight, but she had nine points and eight rebounds. Just talk about how key she's been for you the last couple games. Well, I think she really wants to be a coach, okay, tonight because she got in foul trouble. And so we had to take her out, and uh, we had to save her to the last few minutes because we needed her. And like you said, you know, she's uh, she's been playing great. Uh, she's given us big minutes. Uh, she's doing a good job on the boards. Uh, she's playing good sound defense. So she's doing a lot of complete things for us. And she gives us a little more speed in there when she's in as well, you know, playing for us. So that's that's uh, the Tia Wooten that uh, we recruited. You're seeing her now at her best. So I'm just proud of her, and I'm proud of what she's accomplishing. Coach, talk about the resilience of the team. Last two games have been close and come down to the wire. Your team has pulled it out, beating the undefeated team in conference play and winning two in a row. Just talk about the resilience of your team. Well, you know, to me, that's the character of a good team. Character good team, you know, to me, cream rises to the top, so to speak, and that's what's going to happen, I think, most of the time. Now, there's some things, there's there's some intangibles that you can't, you know, you can't place an emphasis on because of officiating and some other things that goes down with that. But the, you have to control the things you can control. Things you can't control, you can't do anything about it. Don't worry about it. You know, so that's what we try to do. And, and you know, a lot of our kids, like you said, uh, Jada stepped up big. I thought Wu stepped up big. Um, uh, Diamond uh, played great for us, and uh, of course Amani got some some big steals, and and uh, you know we got like we got our our starters have really been playing well. Max came in tonight, gave us a boost. Callie didn't have such a good good game tonight, but but she'll be back. Callie's too good a player to stay down, so you know she was just had an off night. But you know when we when everybody's playing well, we can compete. But if we're not playing well, uh, you know we're not going to compete. And coach, just talk about the end of a homestand. Now you hit the road to take face on Eastern Kentucky team that is really tough. Just talk about what your team will have to do on the road to come out with the win. Well, let me just tell you what. Right now, we're going into Eastern. Right now, we're down ten zip when we walk on the floor, and then you got to get about a ten point lead just to even things out. And so, unless we can get a ten point lead or whatever to even things out, it's going to be a rough long night. So the thing is, we have to nullify their runs. They're very athletic. Okay, they got great size, good quickness with their size. They're going to they create some problems for us. We'll get some shots blocked, and you're playing up their place. Okay, they don't see them fouls up there a lot. So, you know, we, we're going to have to play smart and play heady and, and, and play positive. All right, Coach, thanks, and congrats on the win.